Welcome to Buck Wrangler's Thanksgiving Day Special. I'm your host, of course, Buck Wrangler, and this episode is brought to you by The World's Greatest Shop. Uh, go to Etsy and search for The World's Greatest Shop. You'll find the most wonderful merchandise in the world. Are you wondering how a single man like myself, who is down on his luck and uh, has been kicked in his back by his bitch ex-wife, for $400 a month in alimony every month, uh, is able to cook a delicious meal that includes turkey, jellied cranberries, creamed corn, and stuffings. Well, oh, and rolls? Well, wonder no more, because in this episode, I'm going to teach all you single men how to uh, Work the magic. So, enjoy. Oh. Everyone says to me, hey, Buck, you know, uh, you have been usually going to fine eateries on Thanksgivings the last couple years, like the Golden Nugget or the Wick or the Piccalilli, but this year you're actually staying in. And I said... Absolutely, uh, unfortunately, because uh, that bitch Vivian still has a restraining order on me, and as the law says, holidays do not negate restraining orders, I can't see my family, and I still owe her $400 a month in alimony. So, if you're in a situation like I am, then... What we're going to do is I'm going to teach you how to cook like a single guy that really wants to enjoy uh, Thanksgivings, but nobody will have him at his house because he voted for Donald Trump and you live in New Jersey. So if that's you, then, well, here is your lucky day because I found an absolute delicious meal that I can cook for you, teach you how to cook it, and you'll be right up there. First, of course, the main course, we need our turkeys. I found this guy at the Aldi's. Look at that right there. Is that coming into focus? I don't, there, is that in focus? The Aldi's has this one and it's rotisserie flavor turkey breast tenderloins, okay? Very inexpensive. It's maybe $6. It's delicious, and it really uh, gets you in the Thanksgiving Day spirit. Also, for your fixings, you're going to need a box of stuffings, which I also found at the Aldi's. This is the Herb Mix Chef's Cupboard, which it says it cooks in five minutes, and in my... Uh, my experience, my lifelong experience, anything that has a time on it, see that? Anything that has a time on it, you're gonna, you're gonna have a delicious experience out of it, and it in no way is going to negate the flavor of doing it naturally. Um, also, I found this at the Acme's Signature select jellied cranberries, right? Because uh, we all know that the the great the great Indian chief uh, cranberry Ahanas gave us the cranberries on Thanksgivings, and that's why we eat cranberries. It's to celebrate the great Indian chiefs of the great farming tribes. Um, not the savage ones who, uh, you know, brought Jamestown massacre, but the farming peaceful ones that people are always crying about. And then, of course, you got to have your cream corns. Okay, look at that. Cream corns, the Del Monte. Don't skimp on your cream corns. It's um, it's a Thanksgiving tradition to have your cream corns. So let's. Let's bring the camera down here where I can do some chopping and showing you, showing you what's going on, okay? 
Actually, I forgot the most important part of Thanksgiving, which is uh, getting hammered and saying things that you will regret because it gets you uninvited to Christmas, which is right around the corner. This year, I am celebrating with Francis James uh, Single Barrel Maple Rye. It is a delicious uh, maple rye. It's actually one of my favorite ryes. comes from uh, New Jersey, the Collingswood, Oakland area, which is, as everyone knows, historically um, uh, filled with degenerates and people that enjoy uh, the finer things in life. I'm sorry, not degenerates, but people who enjoy the finer things in life. Got that one wrong. So, low baller, right? You need your low baller. Just pour it right over top of the glass. And then, and then you give it a little swirl. You know, one of the things that people don't understand about liquor is you can't just do shots all the time, right? Like you're in high school, or, or, I mean college. I'm not, I'm not pushing kids drinking, of course, but when you're in college and you're of age and you first start drinking, you know, I was in the service, of course. I didn't go to college, but uh, you, you drink it fast and you drink it hard, you know? But when you get older and you don't have as much money because you are momentarily... Uh, looking for work because uh, your previous employer decided that you crying in the uh, men's room was a little too much. So what you do is you give it a whiff mm. and a little sip of your friend. You say hello and to uh, Francis James and you continue along while watching either the Macy's Day Parade, or uh, the Cowgirls. So what we're going to do now is bring you down here where we're going to set up the turkey. It's going to be delicious. You're going to see it, how we're going to cook it, and everyone will go home happy. Now, I know you can't see my beautiful face here, but it's, it's important that you know that the turkey is here. It's ready to be cooked in the air fryer because the oven takes too long and uh, when you're looking to you're looking to enjoy yourself cheers mm. you can't you can't uh, waste any time so the instructions say peel here to open yeah come on get it open now Damn oldies bag. Oh, look at that. Look at that. This is going to be delicious. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now what you want to do, you want to either A, decide to store one, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to store one for later in the freezer. And then I'm going to chop up the other. And I'm back with my, my bag here. Just get it in there. Nice freezer bag, right? Because without a freezer bag, you're just going to let it all get, get oxygenated. You don't want that. Right? You want to store it for later. You know, honestly, I was surprised there that there was two of them because I didn't, I didn't read the packaging. But what you want to do is you want to, you want to slice this in a way that it allows you to cook it quicker, right? Because if you've got this whole thing on here and you're cooking it all at once, it's going to take quite a while. So we, we chop it up into smaller bits and then she's able to cook and taste nice and delicious. And now we take our, our turkey pieces and we place them right on here. 
which is very simple. There we go, there we go. Maybe, maybe for the ASMR people. Oh, how does that sound? Oh, God damn it, the coach is gonna get mad at me for getting turkey juice on his microphone. All right, let's uh, let's throw it in the uh, the old air fryer. All right, now people say they says, coach, you can't air fry a turkey. Oh, wait a minute, let me. All right, that's better. That's better. People says you can't air fry a turkey, and I say uh, that's bullshit because when you put a turkey in an air fryer, it's just like putting it in a convection oven, right? So you cook it. I would say 400 for maybe. Uh, let's say 10 minutes and then we'll, well, seven minutes and then we'll, we'll see where it's at. Okay. Uh, we'll do 10 and then we'll see where it's at. So we, uh, we close it up on this model. You hit the French fry button. Oh no. Don't tell me my, oh, got to hit the power French fry, bring it down to 10. And uh, we'll see if she, uh, she warms up quicker than uh, my ex-wife. <laughs> no, I know. I know. $400 is ridiculous, especially since I don't have a job, you know. And it's not like, uh, not like I ain't trying. You know, I'm out there. I'm hustling. I got this, I got this uh, American Shopping Network thing, you know, where I'm selling the, uh, the uh, world's greatest shops. Uh, merchandise, you know, that's, that's beautiful merchandise, and I'm selling it. It's dirt cheap. It's on Etsy. Uh, it's a steal. You go to Etsy, you search the uh, mer uh, world's greatest shop, and uh, I have a couple articles myself. Oh, I'm sorry. We're back. Um, so here we are uh, saying hello to our little friend, and now we're going to make the stuffings, okay? What you do is you want to put put your heat on your oven, okay? All right, we got some heat going on there. Then you want to put in one and a half cup of water, right? Because without the water, it's just going to be a bunch of dry rocks. Because as we all know, uh, the Indians didn't know how to make bread. And then we taught them, and then they didn't know what to do with the leftover bread. So they mixed it up with water and butter and some spices and made stuffings for the turkey. And everybody was happy with that. And these are the, the very peaceful and nonviolent uh, Indians that, are, that everyone loves, you know. Uh, I'm not trying to be offensive. I'm just saying that some of them were violent and some of them were very peaceful. But... We've got to melt our butter in with, in with the water, and it's got to come to a, a raging boil, right? And while that's happening, we're going to multitask, okay? Let me just grab the other, the other pan right here, or the other pot. Let's see what we've got here. Here we are. See this one? It's a little pot. Ain't nothing fancy. You're just cooking up some cream corn. That goes on. Get your can opener because today we ha we live in a modern Western society where we have conveniences like canned vegetables and we don't have to shuck them off the corn, you know? Don't have to add the extra butter and all that other fun stuff. So just got to open this one up. Get that open. And pour it in there. Oh, I should have ASMR'd it for you. I should have done some ASMR for you. Just really got the cream corn in there. And then what we do is we turn that, oh, wrong burner. Turn the burner on. Say hello to our little friend. And we're on our way. It's very simple. It's very easy. It's nothing that, uh, oh, look at that, a little bit of corn. It's, uh, it's very easy. When this dinner is done, you're going to say, oh, my God, Buck, uh, 
thank you. You are a phenomenal man for teaching me these tricks because uh, otherwise I would feel left out on Thanksgiving, but now I can do Thanksgiving traditions like uh, get hammered and pass out on the couch while watching the Cowgirls game. Hey, I just want to interrupt you real quick um, with the cream corns, right? Let's just get a shot of the cream corns in there. Look at that. Oh, that's delicious. The cream corns, you just want to warm it up, right? You don't got to... You don't gotta cook it, just warm it up and you'll be fine, okay? And give a little stir here. Butter's almost done. This is almost at a, a raging boil. Not to be confused with one of the greatest movies of all time with Bobby De Niro, uh, The Raging Bull. But of course that was before he, he became a, a, a liberal wackadoo, you know? Oh, Bobby, Bobby De Niro. You make the best movies. But now, now you do the things with Hillary, like when she eats children. Just kidding, Hillary does not eat children. That's something I, uh, I read online. And uh, we all know that's not true. Don't ban me, YouTube. Mm. God bless. So now that this is up at a raging boils, we take our stuffing mix. And the packaging. Get it open. Super simple, right? Then you just get it in there. Get it in there. A nice little mix. Coat everything up. And then they say take it off the heat. Mix it all up in there. Get it nice and fluffy. You know. Like your pillow at night. Before you go to bed and cry yourself to sleep. Because you're living in another man's house. And you're, you don't have a job except for working for a cable or internet shopping network and you're eating Thanksgiving alone. But anyway, uh, I would like you to know not to reach out to that bitch Vivian on Twitter because she would not enjoy the harassment uh, and neither, neither would her... her her, uh, her place of employment. So, uh, internet sleuths, don't go looking for Vivian or her uh, place of employment because that, that would not be good. So now that this, uh, your, see it was super simple, five minutes, it's all done, right? Oh, yeah, that's good. Here, now the corn's done, and as, as you can see right here, right, look at that. What does that say? What does that say? Write it in the comments, okay? We're all done. We're all done. We got our foods. We're all done. Let's, let's take a look at this turkey here, right? I'm going to put that on low. Now what we're going to do, we're going to take out the turkeys and take a look at it. All right, look at that. Look at that. That's some turkeys right there. Just a little off. Uh, ha! Mm. Hey, This is delicious. Now, now uh, we'll go back to the table for some testing. And as I said... I would show you how to cook all of these wonderful uh, food parcels like the turkey, of course the jellied, uh, cranberries, the cream corn, the five minute stuffings, and the rolls, which, you know, uh, some people like to do the canned rolls. I just like to use hamburger rolls because um, that's what I have laying around. 
Now, this is the portion of the video where I prove to you that I am capable of eating my own food. So let's just give ourselves a little, a little food here, right? Give ourselves a cream corn. Mm. And some stuffings. And a roll. Now what I like to do on Thanksgivings is I like to really make a sandwich out of everything, right? Just throw that on there. Give me some stuffings. And some of that corn right there. Squish it all together. Mmm. This is delicious. This has been a wonderful episode. I hope all you single guys out there understand that um, life's not over when she's raking you over the coals, but uh, uh, it sure gets tough. But it's days like today that make it worth it. And after this, I'll watch the cowgirls uh, get beat up on uh, the TVs. Hmm. Hmm.